So for today's recipe, we're going to be making a bullion chocolate fondant with caramel ice cream. For this recipe, we're going to need some uh, fresh eggs, caster sugar, plain flour, a little bit of butter and some uh, brown sugar, also some cocoa powder, milk, whole milk, double cream, a little bit of freeze-dried coffee granules, and also not forgetting the beautiful bullion chocolate as well. So to help with this recipe, we're going to be using the Global Takashi Knife Block, which is a great all-rounder for any kitchen. So first of all, we need to make the caramel ice cream because it needs to set in the freezer overnight. So we're going to start by caramelizing the sugar in a large saucepan. Once that's nice and golden, we're going to deglaze that pan with the milk and cream and bring it to the boil. Once it's come to the boil, we're going to pour that over our egg yolks and whisk together. Then we're going to place that back into the pan and we're going to place it on a low heat and stir it constantly until it reaches 85 degrees or until it coats the back of a spoon. And then we're going to sieve that mixture into a Paco Jet canister and freeze overnight. If you haven't got a Paco Jet at home, which most people don't, you can just chill the ice cream down and then churn it in a traditional ice cream machine and freeze again overnight. So next up we need to make our chocolate fondant mix so we've got a beautiful bullion chocolate which we're just going to chop up with the global bread knife and then we're going to place that in a microwavable bowl along with the butter and melt it together in the microwave then we're going to mix it to emulsify. Once we've done that we need to add our water, cocoa and coffee into a saucepan and bring that to the boil. Whilst that's coming to the boil we separate our egg whites from our egg yolks saving the egg whites for the meringue and then the egg yolks get mixed straight into that chocolate mix along with the cocoa and then we're going to fold in our flour. And then we need to make our meringue. So we whisk together our egg whites with our sugar to stiff peaks and then we need to fold that all together to create our beautiful fondant mix. Next we need to prepare our moulds. So we've got our Dario moulds which we're just going to coat with some melted butter using a pastry brush. And then we're going to add some cocoa powder to that and just move it round and tap it out so it's got a light coating on the outside and then we put our mixture into a piping bag and fill our moulds ready for service. For the chocolate crumble we need to preheat the oven to 170 degrees celsius and then in a mixing bowl we're going to add our butter, flour and cocoa powder and just rub that into a breadcrumb texture and then fold in our sugar. We'll place this on a baking tray and then bake it for 10 minutes and then just allow it to cool ready for service. So when it comes to service we need to preheat the oven to 190 degrees celsius and then we're going to bake our fondants for 6 minutes. Whilst they're baking, we can spoon the crumble onto a plate, add a scoop of our beautiful caramel ice cream, and then once the fondants are cooked, we need to carefully turn those upside down straight onto the plate and serve straight away so you've got a nice gooey center. So here we've got our bullion chocolate fondant with caramel ice cream, and we're pairing that with the Robber Cutlery Range. No, 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 no.